there may be a very real trap waiting for silver stackers. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. Welcome to Silver Oceans. I genuinely treasure you guys checking out my YouTube channel. If you'd like to absorb more knowledge regarding collecting and stacking precious metals, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's crack into it. Okay guys, the caveat to this is I'm not here to make wild assumptions about where spot price will go like a silver pumper. What I'm here to explain is what I believe will be the trap for physical silver stackers, which as a result will lock many of us out of the market and leave us without any metals. Now, I'm not a professional financial advisor. Do your own diligence before buying or selling precious metals. I had the opportunity to visit nine local coin shops, LCSs, in San Diego and Orange County within the last month, seven of which were new to me. And at every single one, it was the same story. Very low inventory. Yes, they had some bullion, but in speaking to the LCS operators, they all told me that it's tough out there trying to procure inventory. And yes, silver is available online, but then you get the outrageous premiums and the opportunity cost is just at least severely diminished. Here's the point of this video. At some point, I see silver spot price popping to let's say about $50 an ounce. At that point, what will you do? I believe that a lot of stackers will think, okay, buy low, sell high, and begin to liquidate large amounts of their stacks with the thinking that, okay, I'll just buy back in when silver comes back down to $25 to $30. Then spot price may drop a couple dollars temporarily, but then just continue to rise to the point where for many people it becomes unaffordable and we have to start purchasing fractional silver. Now, I'm not trying to scare you guys, and maybe this won't happen for decades or even in our lifetime, but I am not selling my silver at $50 an ounce. I will not be locked out of my financial ability to hold physical silver. The takeaway is don't sell everything as a bullion flip based on a pop in spot price. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. The thing is, spot price is akin to paper silver. We know it's worth much more than that, and at least I believe it's just a made up price. So really evaluate your FOMO, evaluate the thought of selling bullion as a flip and bullion, of course, being separate from collectible silver, which I enjoy flipping all the time. And despite what some YouTube silver pumpers and Wall Street silver is telling you, silver is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Now let's move on to the mail call. I received several letters here in the mail, um, so we're going to go ahead and check this stuff out. First up is a letter from Nathaniel Outdoor Adventures. Let's see what he sent me. All right, here it is. Congratulations on winning, my friend. I have included a handmade replica coin from lead. Hope you like it. Kind regards and a little extra silver. Nathaniel Outdoor Adventures. Very cool. Let's check this out. Wow, this is really cool. As far as I know, I don't have any lead coins. It says Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Very cool replica coin. Thank you for that, my friend. And there was more he sent in here. Uh, let's see what this is. One mark. 1881. Wow, that's an old coin. This is really cool. I don't have any of these. Thank you for sending that extra. And there's actually another one in here. One Frank, 1911, Helvetica. Oh, this is so cool. I love this design. This is a Swiss coin.
Thanks for the German and the Swiss silver. This is awesome. I really appreciate that. Next up, I have a large package here from Miss Southern Bell, and it came in this pink bubble mailer. Let's check this out. This is totally unexpected. I don't know what's in here. Okay, I opened up the package. There's a ton of stuff in here. Let's check out this letter. Whoa, look at that. I got some art from Miss Southern Belle. The Silver Oceans, Happy Summer. It's got the fishes and the turtle and the sharks. I love it. Hand painted. This is really cool. Oh, and there's more stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Got the Miss Southern Bell stickers. Very cool. Thank you. That's awesome. I like this one from Miss Southern Bell. Thank you, my friend. That's a very thoughtful card. Now I have three of these orange packages. Let's open them up and see what's inside. All right, I got the packages opened. I have a 1998 Canadian penny and a 1993 Canadian penny. Very cool. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Not only that, I have two 2005 proof Jefferson Nichols. Check it out. She sent me two different designs, the Lewis and Clark and the Buffalo. Those are really cool. I don't have any proof Nichols. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Not only that, but she sent me a bundle of the Miss Southern Bell pens. Faith as a mustard seed. You can use these to write in my channel mail. Thank you. And I got a letter from Juice Stacker. Let's check it out. All right, I have a letter here with some stickers. SO, my man, sorry I'm late on the sticker trade. Keep juice in the stack, juice. Nice stickers, my friend. Thank you very much. And I'm glad they arrived in good shape because look at the condition of the envelope. This was pretty beat up when I got it, but the stickers came out nice, so thank you. Next up, I have a letter here from Prepping with Sarge. Let's crack into this. All right, we have the American flag postcard here. Very nice. Let's see, stickers. Whoa, are those silver? Those are two silver dimes. Oh my gosh, thank you. Dude, you went all out. I really appreciate that, that's huge. Check out these channel stickers. Usually I go for the matte, but on Sarge's sticker, I like the hollow one more. Very cool. Planting seeds and stacking silver. That's right. Hey Oceans, thanks for all the channel swag and the coin you sent. I'm enjoying your content. Keep planting seeds and stacking silver, Sarge. Thank you, my friend. That was really nice of you. Now I have a letter here from Sea Monkey Metals in a really cool envelope, and it has a wax seal on the back. See the monkey? Let's open it up. It's on really cool paper here. Silver Oceans, thank you so much for all your continued support of not only my channel, but all the other channels in this amazing community. Keep up the good work. Here's a sticker I promised you months ago. Message in a bottle is rather slow, sorry. I should be getting more soon. Also, magnets and maybe hollows if they look okay. I'll be sure to get some out to you when they arrive. Take care and God bless. Sea Monkey Metals. Check out this sticker. That is really cool. I never noticed the monkey up in the sail. Thank you, my friend. Oh, there's more. Silver Oceans, thank you for the sticker trade and for all your support. Great sticker. Here is a prototype of mine. Thank you, brother. Number 12 of 13. Wow, only 13 of these made? I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. And finally, the last letter I have here is from Big Nub Numismatics. 
met him on Instagram and this might have been a coin that I purchased. Let's see what's in it. So he's a really great seller on the Instagram coin show um, on Instagram and that's coming up soon, Instagram coin show six. What, let's see, I don't remember these. I'm so very sorry for the mistake. I hope this makes up and this doesn't prevent us from doing business in the future. P.S. I love your video. Keep up the great work. Now I remember. There was a mix up with the purchase I made. It wasn't a big deal, but dude, you did not have to do this. Two silver coins right here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So what do you guys think? Could there be a physical silver trap or do you think spot price will never get that high? Let me know in the comments. Hey, you guys are amazing. If you're watching this video to the very end, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your viewership and following my journey. Thank you for watching and until next time, stack wide as the ocean.